It's always a treat to play Aces and Eights, this venue. My favorite comedy fire trap, actually. <laughs> yeah, uh, basements and attics, me. Basements and attics. That's my career, essentially. Basements and attics. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not one of these ground floor comics. <laughs> Too safe. Too safe with all their exits. <laughs> You know, the, my, my, my comedy really only works in venues that are a little bit life-threatening. <laughs> so this place is perfect, right? Now, I don't know what you're laughing at. You are fucked. <laughs> but you might as well laugh. It could be the last time you ever do, right? So I think uh, get the comedy formalities out of the way. Are we well? Yes. Yes. Okay, there was a lot of consensus there. It makes me think... Maybe you didn't think about the question before you answered it. It makes me think of that. You know, because Harry knows this. I'm not one of these sort of comics into sort of glib audience participation. That's not my thing. I'm more into constructive engagement. And I'm going to start with you, my friend, okay? Are you well? Are you well? Are you well? What's your wellness strategy? Hang out with these three. So basically nothing. Right? Can I make a suggestion? Well man supplements. Well man supplements. Do you know these well man supplements? Yeah, it's the UK's number one selling nutritional supplement. Specially designed micronutrients engineered for the lifestyle needs of men. Are you a man? Me too. So we have the same lifestyle. Right? Right? A lot of uh, extreme sports and firing people. Yeah. And you know what that lifestyle needs, my friend? You know what that, I know because I read it on the box. It's all on the box. You can read it on the box, right? You know what that lifestyle needs? Vitality. Vitality. People coming up to me on the street every day saying, how'd you get so goddamn vital? <laughs> well, man, supplements, people. Well, man, supplements. Now, I'm going to go out on a limb, but I suspect that doesn't happen to you. Yeah, okay. Now you're with him, yeah? Would you say he's vital? No? Okay, would you say he's vital? No, my dear? No, no? Not so trustworthy because you're not well either, are you? No, you're not. And I can tell, I can tell. And can I make a suggestion? Well woman supplements. Do you know these? Do you know these? Well woman supplements? The UK's number one selling nutritional supplement for women. Specially designed micronutrients engineered for the lifestyle needs of women. My dear, I read the box. I can tell you, your lifestyle, apparently, it's all about managing a hectic schedule and balancing work and home. Yeah? I would know nothing about that. I'm a man, I have a completely different lifestyle, my dear, completely. I take Well Man Max, actually. I do, Harry, it's not funny, this, it's dead serious. I take Well Man Max. Now, I would recommend you don't start there, my friend. It could really fuck you right up. And uh, my dear, you can take Well Woman Plus. They don't have Well Woman Max, that would be a little dangerous. So, you know. But I'll tell you something profoundly disquieting. Actually, my flatmate is a woman. She takes Well Woman supplements. And as I said earlier, I'm a man. I take Well Man supplements today by mistake. Yeah. I took a Well Woman supplement. Do you know, as soon as I realized what I had done, I burst out crying. <laughs> That never happens when I take Well Man supplements. So I apologize, you know, because I'm a little... Uh, I mean, all day I've been um, well, but for a woman. So I just, I just hope I can make it home without having to operate any heavy machinery. So we'll, we'll see what happens there. It's real dangerous. Anyway, uh, yeah. 2015, a total fucking disaster. Right? I think we can all agree, a total fucking disaster, my dear, a disaster. What have we had, right? What have we, uh, terrorist attacks, 
more austerity, right? Uh, Ebola, planes fallen out the sky, right? Literally, there were earthquakes in the Midlands. Did you read this? There were earthquakes in the Midlands. That actually happened. I said to myself, you know, if 2015 were an HBO series, I would be hooked, because who the <laughs> fuck knows what is gonna happen next? <laughs> I'm terrified, but I'm on the edge of my seat, right? And I'll tell you what's gonna happen next. I figured it out. Someone's gonna get assassinated. Someone's getting assassinated, and I'm convinced it's Kevin Spacey. But we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. It could be, could be anyone, but... Um, I got these elections, right? Oh, God. How too fucking boring. I'd like, I, oh, God. Every, all these politicians shouting at each other and Twitter. Oof. I can't deal. I can't deal. I know it's February, but already 2015 is farting on my boner. <laughs> you too. Yeah. And I'm still not over Christmas. I'm still not over Christmas. I mean, I know it happened in 2014, but you know, those women got touched up by Cosby. That shit happened in the 70s. And they're not over it either, right? And I am just like them because every year I get raped by Christmas and no one believes me. So, hanging on by a thread, people, by a thread. People, here's something, here's something, Matt, will be interesting to you. You know what it's like, you know, doing comedy for a bunch of losers in a dump like this. It's, it's hard to make a living, right? I mean, that's not totally fair, this place isn't a dump. But you know what I mean, right? I know what I mean, right? So my agent's always calling through with sort of crazy ideas that aren't even comedy, just trying to, you know, she's trying to squeeze as much money as she can out of me. So she's called me up, she said, oh, I got this great gig for you, you're gonna love it. It's not comedy, but don't worry, you're gonna make a bomb. I said, all right, dynamite. So she said, oh yeah. Five, very hot, very happening, very of the moment, very emerging, contemporary, right now, Hollywood actresses are in town, my dear, they need someone to show them around, show them the hot spots, be the chaperone, I thought of you, what do you think? I said, okay, well, you know, send through the names, right? I've got a fax machine at home. So anyway, <laughs> about 30 minutes later, the names came through, Dynamite People. You are not gonna believe who I spent the evening with, showing around London, hello, very hot, very of the moment, right now, buzzy, tons of buzz, these names. Who was it? I'll tell you. <laughs> Rooney Mara, Mila Kunis, Lupita Nyong'o, Numi Rapace, and Gugu Mbataro. No. <laughs> <laughs> My dear, Rooney, Mila, Lupita, Numi, and Gugu. That was my reaction, right? So I was like, all right, well, okay, great. Sounds great, sounds great, sounds great. I was really excited until I realized these women hadn't even met each other. And it was up to me to introduce them. Rooney, Mila, Mila, Rooney, Mila, Lupita, Lupita, Mila, Lupita, Numi, Numi, Lupita, Numi, Gugu, Gugu, Numi, Gugu, Rooney, Rooney, Gugu, Rooney, Lupita, Lupita, Rooney, Lupita, Gugu, Gugu, Lupita, Gugu, Mila, Mila, Gugu, Mila, Numi, Numi, Mila, Numi, Rooney, Rooney, Numi, I'm David. <laughs> so, you know, they want to go somewhere really hot, right? Really hot, but cool, right? Somewhere buzzy, but also relaxed. Somewhere like, you know, somewhere they wouldn't be bothered by a bunch of losers, but somehow their pictures might end up in the papers the next day, right? I said, okay. Rooney, Mila, Lupita, Numi, and Gugu, focus. Because this is London, we got a lot of options. We could go to Nobu, Nopi, Artuzi, Babaji, Dubus, Gymkhana, Medlar, Momo, Roka, Amaya, La Anima, Barshu, Ognisko, Hutong, Kirazu, Koba, Kobaba, Busaba, Dishum, Zok Zolo, Zuka, Z Zoli, Zili, Zuma, or the Aberdeen Steakhouse. And um, <laughs> it was a funny old thing because in that moment, as, I, as soon as I said that, Gugu Mbatha said, well, that's crazy because that's my sister's name. I said, what's your sister's name? She said, Nobu, Nopi, Artuzi, Babaji, Dubus, Jim Khanna, Medlar, Momo, Roka, Amaya, Hutong, La Anima, Barshu, Ognisko, Kirazu, Koba, Kopaba, Busaba, Dishum, Zuka, Zolo, Zoli, Zili, Zuma, but we called her Aberdeen Steakhouse. So it was a funny, it was a funny moment, you know what I mean? It, was, it sort of click, kicked off right in that moment. And we spent the night together, what fun we had, what fun. We, we ran, ran into everyone, you know, uh, uh, Ban Ki-moon, and uh, Chuatel Ejafor, and um, Shore Agadashalu, and uh, who else, uh, Tipsy Livni, and um, yeah, uh, Matt Smith. 
And I thought, uh, 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 what kind of name is Matt Smith? Uh, well, apparently he's foreign. <laughs> so it was a funny moment. Uh, and that, that very thing happened. So, you know, things and other things happen and other things and other <coughs> moments. And here we are together, my dear. <laughs> it's an idea. Anyway, I've had it with you people. I'm David Mills. Good night. God bless. Go to hell. Thank you.